John Keeley for OFB TV at the Capitals annual outdoor practice before the Winter Classic, joined by Alan May of Comcast Sportsnet. Alan, um, Stretch complimented me earlier on my flannel. He said I looked very Canadian. What do you think? Is he right? Eastern Canadian, maybe. We'd never dress like that in Alberta. This is the Maritime? Yeah, I think so. That's how Sidney Crosby would dress. All right. Hey, we want to go behind the scenes a little bit with you about the alumni game. Um, I can speak for all Capitals fans in saying that, first and foremost, we want four, at a minimum, maybe five bounties on Penguin alumni heads. Has there been talk in the dressing room yet about that? You know what, the guys are joking around on, about it, but I don't know if anyone's going to be able to collect. But if there's real money on the table, there could be something done, I think. Hey, tell us a little bit about the preparations. You guys, I know, have been skating a little bit. Uh, is there a curfew, for instance? Uh, I hope there is. Because some of these guys I know could stay up pretty late. and uh, Or maybe they'll just stay up until they got to get on the bus at 7 a.m. How's your game looking? Well, uh, brand new skates, brand new equipment. I'm in shape, and I plan on over skating a few pucks the first period, but I should be ready to go by the second or third. In all seriousness, this is this alumni game has really caught fire, sold out almost as soon as the tickets went on sale. I mean, what, what are your thoughts and emotions, and what are the guys that you're skating saying about it? Well, everyone's excited about it, and you know, the, the one of the reasons is just to see each other because when the game is over, the camaraderie is what you miss the most. And then to go against Mario and probably what's going to be the last hockey game that he ever plays is very exciting. But just to be out there wearing the old uniforms, uh, it, it's so exciting. And the guy, you know, myself just getting to play with Kiprios and Bruce Pavanka, Bonder, my old buddies, is always amazing. And he, have you guys heard from any other alumni who said, hey, we heard about the game, we want to get involved? Because so many guys got involved so quickly. Well, what happened is, uh, once Mario put his mind to it that this game was going to happen, it was kind of late, so a lot of guys had plans, but we'd have loved to see Ole here, Dino, uh, Mike Gartner, Kelly Miller had to bow out at the last minute, and uh, unfortunately, but you know what, the guys that are here were proud watching the Capitol, so I'm happy to skate with them as well. Any interaction with the alumni Penguins yet, or are you guys just going to keep your distance uh, through Friday? Well, you know what, everyone's been mouthing off to each other, you know, and, and, uh, in email and, and stuff. And, and jest, and friends of friends are calling, like I've got a friend that's calling Talkit all the time and talking trash to him. And, he talks trash back, and it's unbelievable. But it'll it'll be fun to see all the guys. And it's it, actually some of the guys are unrecognizable because they've lost all the hair. They gained 30 pounds. And I imagine once guys figured they were going to play, they were on some Metafast diet or something. So some of those Penguins alums are going to be bald, but still have mullets, right? Yeah, I'm sure Phil Bork will have a mullet. Yeah, uh, sure. Guys like him, Bob Erie, I see him on television all the time. He's got a mullet. <laughs> Mario's, you know, he's corporate now, so he, he doesn't have his anymore. Right? Well, listen. Caps fans want the alumni victory just as much as I think as Saturday's. Good luck and bring back a victory. Well, thank you very much, sir.